Shep, some of these love for King Corso, Connor Depressa, and Neapolitan Mastino, historical talk. What's up? One of the administrators there. If you don't know by now. Yo, um, thanks for the love, thanks for the support. Also, thanks for the hate. I mean, things are what they are. Um, basically, also, to Again, I didn't write the history of the King also, or the name of the Master, or the kind of person. But, like I said, it's very incumbent upon you to, um, to do research about your breed. As well, uh, hopefully I can see the breed go in a positive direction, instead of the money-hungry type of individuals that's in the breed. And there's a lot of them, you know what I'm saying? Um, be very careful of who you get your dogs from. And I'm going to say that again, be very careful of who you get your dogs from or what your dogs have in them because uh, there's variations of types of core souls, you know what I'm saying? And um, again, even those that are upon with the standard is concerned, you know what I'm saying? As far as the color, doesn't mean that it's a good core soul as well, man. You know what I'm saying? So be very careful who you get your dogs from. A lot of these dogs have epilepsy in them due to the fact of the box of crosses, not all of them. But there is a lot of hyper-type dogs that's around. Hyper-type dogs are in the show rings. And be very careful. Because with the epilepsy, like I said, at the end of the day, with that stuff is it's a hereditary disease. Um, it runs in boxes. And now it runs in corsos. It's not supposed to, but it is what it is due to the fact that the foundation breeders um, breeding boxes into the lines. So this is what it is now. So, in a nutshell, be very careful, be very selective of who you get the dogs from. If my advice to you is if you're going to get a dog, get a dog that's a person that's working and showing the dog, or a dog that's from old school lines, but then you still have to be careful. You know, again, you still have to be careful. Ask the, um, like I said, actually do your research, because you will surely find too that People started off with these dogs looking like a certain type of way, and then they end up with something else. And a lot of these people are in it for the money. They're not in it for the love of the dogs. If they say that they're lying to you, because at the end of the day, too, if they don't still continue to have what they started off with, that should tell you something right there. Because, again, um, what they do in Italy is what they do in Italy. And what they do here in the United States is what we do here in the United States. So if you got the same type of dogs, now they're looking like bull mastiffs now. So now if you running around here with a bull mastiff corso, and you know what a corso is supposed to look like, that's telling me that you're in it for the money. You're not in it for nothing else but the money. And again, you know, you jump on the bandwagons and you really browbeat the hell out of dudes that are not in who's with, you know, the show brackets, etc., and they breeding corsos or whatever, but you don't do this to your own comrades overseas, though. These dogs are coming over here, and they're defected, um, and you're breeding these dogs into your dogs. You just can't take a corso and breed another corso with a corso. It doesn't work like that, people. You better start establishing bloodlines, etc. You better start actually finding out what the hell your dog has in it. I'm going to say that one more time. There's different variations of corsos. You got corsos that look like old school dogs. You got corsos that are like Neapolitans. You have corsos that are like pressers. You have corsos that are like boxes. And you have bull massive looking corsos. You have these fucking hyper type corsos. That's like an in between of everything. You know what I'm saying? And again, like, it's because you put two big, big headed dogs together it doesn't mean that you're going to get big headed puppies or big headed dogs out of that breeder. Whatever goes in these corsos comes out of these corsos. So, with me saying that is, um, again, I just stay, I really try to stay with old school lines. Even old school Italian lines, if I could get my hands on them, you know what I'm saying? So I stay with them type of dogs. Anything else coming out of Italy, you would really have to be careful with. Because if you can, you can look at, because they're making formals now too. So look on their formals and look how the dogs look. And the dogs ain't even uniform. You know what I'm saying? They're not. So no telling what they're doing. And a lot of them are breeding Neapolitan masters back into the lines to make them look like they're rustic dogs. Or they're breeding the sheep dog component back, in, back into it. So things are what they are. 
Just be very careful, you know what I'm saying? Be very careful. Because, you know, like I said, these dudes are not honest. You know what I'm saying? Like, the Corso basically is a band dog. It is what it is. Like it or not, that's the reality of it. So, you really have to be careful. And again, my only plight is a Corso shit like a Bull Mastiff. A Corso shouldn't remind me of a boxer. That's the only two dogs that I really don't like. I could live with a Great Dane looking in this Corso. Not saying that that's what I would like, but I can live with that. I could live with a Corso with a longer coat. I could live with that because, you know, the Corso has the sheepdog component in it. I mean, it is what it is. This is what history manifests, you know. So it is the indigenous dogs that lived in Italy, you know, the farmers bred back and forth into these dogs. So this is what we got to now, you know what I'm saying? Before that, like in 1950s, in the 40s and 30s, 20s, etc., going back and going way, way back, the Corso, the Neapolitan, Come the presser, these all were the same names of the same dog. Like, like it or not, it is what it is, you know. Other people will beg to differ, but that's a lie. The Italian breeders and the founder breeders, I'm saying the founders, not Mike Satilli family, I'm talking about the founder breeders, Vito and them guys. Them guys didn't know the history of a car, so they didn't. So if these dudes manifest that and tell you that, they're lying. Only one that I give props and respect to is, um, what's his name, Bruno Flavio, and that's it, you know what I'm saying? And even Bruno, he caused the frowns upon the pointed dog, talking about there was no such thing as a pointed dog. That's not the truth. I'm not going to jack that. You can't feed me that, because I did my own research and found out that the point has been there forever. Like, they, yo, and again, that the Italian breeders hide these dogs. They don't show these dogs. So then, you know, like, just like with the, you, you might have power balls, you might have had um, your, your white dogs, etc. And that doesn't come out in the front run. They, they hide them. They hold them back. You know what I'm saying? So you don't get to see them. But the Corso has to be, become a very popular breed, right? So now worldwide, people are breeding these dogs, and now these dogs are coming out with these DQ colors. And the DQ colors is not on the, on the aspect of being fair because, like I said, this was a rush job. So, again, it wasn't well thought out. It wasn't. So, I don't respect the standard on the aspect of the color code. Description of the dog, I could live with the, with, with, with the ICCF standard. You know what I'm saying? The AKC standard, I could live with that. But, you know, disqualifying the pointed dogs, the dogs with the white blades on the face, um... The cream colored dogs, etc., shouldn't be disqualified. These dogs are corsos, like it or not. Red noses with the black mask, with the black mask, they're corsos. Like, this is what the corso color code, this is what they come in. I mean, it is what it is. So, for them feeding you this garbage, it's just bull crap. Like I said, it's very incumbent upon you to research. Please research, man. You know what I'm saying? Now, on, on, on the internet, all this information is made available, you know what I'm saying? And you'll see, just as well as I saw, that the Italians, the same breed of dog, just different names. And then they, you know, these authors try to confuse you with, yo, it's not a Corso, and if if it has this, then it's a mixed dog, and this and that, a third. All these, all them damn dogs is mixed. Like, what are you talking about, man? <laughs> it's like, yo, man, if you're talking about that catch dog that was in the farmer's yard, that's a Corso. That's a color depressor. That's a Neapolitan Mastiff. And then some other, some, other, some other names, the fancy names that they want to, to give the dog, man. Whatever region that the dog is, I guess that lived in that region, they give it a name. So I guess it is what it is on that aspect. But like I said, though, these dogs are the same dog. So, like, don't really make a big issue out of bull crap because I mean things are what they are but uh like I said in a nutshell do your research and again you know be careful of them puppy millers man you know what I'm saying because them dudes just out to get your money man and as you can see these show breeders and these other dog enthusiasts are not nice people they're really greasy grease ball say the most foulest things to you you know what I'm saying? Because they think they call so guards or they think they know it all. And they don't absolutely know nothing. And again, that's cool. If they want to stick by the standard, 
That's all right. That's 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 grand. But like I said, I don't have respect for it. So my thing is, and my thing is, Mike Satilli, because he's the one that brought the dogs over here in the U.S. And matter of fact, I'm gonna say this: that you have to interview and all these other people. They did interview Mike because his father's past. But they did interview Mike. What they should do, I'm talking about any other course or register, you should interview Mike. You should get his point of view. Because not just that his family brought the Corsos over, but they also brought the Neos over. So Mike can give you an extensive history in the aspect of what were the Neos, what didn't go with Neos, because he sat at the table at yo, the most renowned Neapolitan breeders in America. He sat at that table. Or went over there in Italy and sat at them people's table. They know him and vice versa. So who not to get the information from on some real stuff? I know you say, oh, Michael Assistine and this and then the third. Yes, I'll give Michael Assistine his props. He does have a wealth of knowledge, but not like Mike. I know that, you know, certain show breeders cannot stand Mike or said that Mike doesn't have nothing to do with the dogs. That was defuted, and that was shown to be a lie. On some real stuff. Show you tons of pictures of Mike being there in dog shows with the dogs. He owned Kokomo. He owned Rocco. He sold those dogs to Ed. Real talk. Not his father, Mike Jr. So that is what it is. And these are the foundations and some of the best corsos in the damn country on some real stuff. So... Y'all don't even show homage, you know, you disrespectful rejects, man. So you get Italian dogs and think you all a lot, and you think these Italian breeders is like, yo, doing the right thing by the breed on some real stuff. If you read Carl Semitic book, you would have read that European breeders don't give it up properly like they're supposed to. So therefore, I mean, things are what they are. So at the end of the day, like, yo, like, so again, do research, man. Do research. Do research. Don't even, don't even have to take my word for it. But then a whole lot of breeders are making me relevant into the Corso breeds. Like, they, they're making me relevant. And a lot of stuff that I said was actually actual fact. Found out that, yes, yeah, Saladin knows what he's talking about. Because, one, I'm not a dog breeder. I'm a dog man. I'm going to say that again. It's a difference. I'm not a dog breeder. I'm a dog man. I have bred other breeds before. I'm very renowned in a lot of breeds, like not just Corso. I elevated in Corso because it was a lot of things that when I first got into the breed that was not available, but now it is. So I study and then people watch me evolve, watch me got real sharp with this situation. So now I'm pretty sharp, not saying that I can't be sharp or, or that I know everything because I'm, I'm still learning. But at the end of the day, I know enough. And again, if you're trying to follow suit, research. Bottom line to it, man. Stop getting on the bandwagon with these other dudes because these other dudes are not doing the right thing by the dogs. Again, you're talking about I'm a puppy mill. I don't post no puppies on everybody's forum and trying to sell my damn dogs. Your dudes breed three to four litters a year, but you're calling me the puppy mill. Right. You know what I'm saying? And if it's not for the money, you should ask the breeders, why did you change? You had American dogs in the beginning. Your dogs had this type of look. Why did they change to those dogs? So you should ask these type of questions. Like real talk. But yo, that's enough of that. You know what I'm saying? I wish you all farewell, and et cetera. You know what I'm saying? Thanks for us, like I said, of supporting the former, and et cetera. And yo, things are what they are. Hopefully they'll get better. We're making a new registry. When I get that information, definitely I'm going to share that, post that up, etc. And I don't care what people feel that it shouldn't be another registry. The course is in danger. It's in trouble because it's evolving and changing very rapidly into other breeds of dogs that it's not supposed to be, man. And soon enough, you're not even going to recognize these show dogs, like on some real stuff. Not even go for the working class dudes that's working your dogs. Like in a minute, your dogs is going to be... They're not even going to be revelant. Like, yo, on some real stuff. Them boxers and bull masters, those are going to be call souls. And they're not call souls. But later, one.